Good morning, welcome to another video with a guy and his projects. So yesterday, me and the Super Duty here took a date day. We drove about 450 miles to get some deals. And we did get some deals. So, what we got, a couple of little things. Actually, three of the things we bought, I can only show you two of them really, or explain two of them. So, this snowed last night, but uh, uh, uh. Either way, we got another set of rims for the Nissan Titan. This is important because on the Titan, I'm using that as my commuter truck. That's what I commute to and from work in. And in the summertime, I just want some normal all-terrain tires, but the wintertime, I'd like some winter tires. So the goal behind these is we'll get rid of this rubber, obviously, uh, but we'll take these rims, we'll put some winter tires on it, and then we'll just be able to swip out <clears throat> We'll be able to just swap out the uh, entire assemblies every season. Um, won't have to pay to get them swapped out all the time. Uh, twice a year, it's like 100 bucks up here for Mountain Balance. So as it is now, if I wanted to get some winners on here, uh, I would have to pay 100 bucks. Get these taken off, put the new ones on, balance them. With the setup, I can probably just get them balanced every year if need be and throw them on myself. So pretty excited about that. Thing number two that we got, oh, it's still in the bed. Whoa. It's icy. Uh, thing no, it's gonna be dangerous. Is a tonneau cover, a hard plastic tonneau cover, solid tonneau cover. The reason this is exciting, this is gonna be for the Titan as well, is I like to park the truck the Titan in the garage as it's my commuter I leave at 4 30 in the morning and I hate coming out and unburying it uh, this is nothing this is don't worry about this but when we get like inches of snow overnight I hate coming out early and unburying it so I like to park it in the truck overnight <clears throat> the problem is is if it snows while I'm at work the bed gets full I put it in the garage it melts of course and then it gets all over the floor and because this floor is perfectly flat there's no angle pitch or nothing um, the water just sits there and then eventually freezes and then the whole garage is slippery it finally starts to melt works its way to the edge of the garage gets under the walls and then it freezes again and i don't want it lifting the wall so i try to keep water out obviously but when it snows now i can't park it in the garage so uh, when i bought this truck the guy that sold it to me had a tonneau cover on um, but it was in rough shape uh, and there was one day when we got like 50 mile an hour winds and I was on the freeway and it uh, well it, it disappeared so this whoa so this will replace that super good deal on it too I'm pretty happy so it's got hydraulics and all that we're gonna install this right now stay tuned and then of course we've got well that's the super duty spare but we got a set of five tires in here um, you might end up getting a peek at what these are uh, and if you see the rims you'll probably know what it's for so i'm not going to show you those yet but that's for a project upcoming so stay tuned don't get too excited yet but i got five rims and tires for another project so also at a pretty decent price paid more than i wanted to but they are uh they're pretty good shreds still so that's something they don't look all worn out the date code is 20 or 2019 if I remember right so I think we'll be okay for right now though I'm gonna dust the rails off of this thing and then we're gonna put that tonal cover on I have no idea how it mounts when I pulled up to the guy's house he had it still installed on his Nissan Titan um, in his mind he thought I was pulling up in a uh, Nissan Titan that I pulled up in the Super Duty uh, so he was planning on helping me install it but obviously I didn't show up in a Titan so he did not help me install it that's okay this probably is not necessary probably gonna pull these out just so they're not sitting there probably won't make a difference but I'm not planning on taking the cover off very often because if I need a bed I've got super duty oh speaking of needing a bed so the reason I got all this stuff for a good deal <clears throat> Well, not why it came at a good deal, but the reason I was able to get it all is I sold that white camper shell, that ugly white camper shell. <laughs> so I sold that, and with the proceeds of that, I have bought all the rest of the stuff. So that's that's where that came from. See if I can die walking on the ice with a screwdriver. Almost. 
So close. And yet so far away. There we go, there's one. Now I gotta see how cold I can get my hands while I unstrap this crap. No, I did not ride 400 miles with the strap undone. Um, I had to put in quite a bit of pressure on this uh, for the drive, because the speed limit's like 80 miles an hour around here, so doing 90. And I had this the cover bent, and I didn't want to leave it that way all night. So I released the tension when I got home, just so it wasn't sitting there forced in the bent position. Yeah. Ooh, that's cold. Also, no, I am not proud about going around the fender. This is not tight this way. That's why that one was so tight, is because this one is not tight. It's just there to keep it from flopping around. Relax, people. Just relax. So we've got shocks for it. Struts, whatever, sorry. We got this bracketry. I didn't get a good look when this was installed, but I don't think it's gonna be all that complicated. <clears throat> Famous last words, I know. Boom, we're ready to roll. I just have no idea which way to roll. Maybe we need to get to the shell out and see if there's some attachment points. The snow is cold. It looks warmer. Gosh dang, my fingers are cold now. That's what the inside of it looks like. So it looks like this little tab, all it does is slide in that little thing and mount right there. So my guess is this needs to go in pretty much all the way to the bedside. I don't know. Let's try it. We'll see what happens. Never mind my snotty nose. Okay, it's freaking cold out here. Doesn't go like that. Does it go on top? Oh, I bet you it goes on top like that. So this one goes on the other side. So I bet you this one sits like so. <clears throat> I wasn't paying attention when the other guy uninstalled it. So I don't know. Guessing these had to slid in. These are too big to slide in. No way it was like that. Uh oh. How the frick were these clamped in there? Uh oh. These are definitely clamped in somehow. But how, sir? How? Makes absolute sense it would have been like that. Does not make sense for it to have been like that. Nope, had to have been up. But how? Alrighty. Slippery. Alright. So, had to take a break and go to church this Sunday morning. While I was there, I was doing some thinking and I realized that what's wrong is we're not utilizing the utility track in the system. In fact, the utility track is going to have to go. We need the actual bed rail piece under here. Um, and there's not enough room with the utility track in the way to get down there. So what we're going to have to do is remove the utility track system, uh, which is fine. All the years I had the Frontier, I never once used the utility track system. Same with the Titan. I've had this almost a year now, and I have yet to use the utility track system. For me, it's a useless thing. It doesn't. I don't need it. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of these utility track systems, and uh, then we should be able to put these on. And uh, Problem solved, I think. I don't think I will miss having these because like I said, I've never used it. So we're just gonna go ahead and remove it. Yeah, they're gonna be seized in there a little bit. Quite honestly, I feel like the bed feels bigger now. Yeah, this is going way better now. And we should have this one over here. And I have no idea which way this one's going to be, but this says right, which means over here. 
And this says L, so this one goes over here. So we're gonna have to like barely put this side on until we figure out where it's gonna go. I guess purely based off of nothing, we're gonna go for right here. And of course we'll screw it on and we'll see, uh, see where everything lines up. Okay. I don't know which way is up on these. Doesn't say, but we'll just put the rod up. I don't think it's gonna matter a whole lot. Boop. All right, so we'll put the rod. Uh oh, no, this one's all broken. That may or may not stay there. Okay, I'm gonna slide this down here. Oh, slippery. We're gonna want the back end. Over top of these, I'm guessing. Right there, and right there. Now we're gonna reach in. Oh, gonna press the strut. Well, actually, there's no need to compress them yet. So we know that based off of where this cam latch is, well, one, I think we want to get well, let's put this up. Yeah, so we want to move the ones in the back further back by quite a bit. Oh, apparently that was not latched. That almost hurt. Things are oil paint in the arse. Be nice if they just had an up position. Oh, right there. I think that might be our happy place. Puts us in a good spot there. I suppose it puts us in a good spot there too. So then we do this. Yeah. I think that's where we want to be on that end. On this end, we're gonna to have to run these ones back quite a ways. Or two six inches. Okay, and this one, same thing. Oopsie. So we want that right there. Where did the clamp go? There it is. Oh. Now we need to finish putting in the back side. All right, that is on. So now we gotta do shock struts, whatever. You think we're just gonna compress these and hope for the best. Uh, no. Or we could be smart and just pick this up. Just like so. And just like so. Yeah. So now I should be able to close that. Pull this down. Latch in place, latch in place. Boom. Cool. All right. So now the only thing the guy didn't give me, maybe he just didn't have any. So it looks like there should be something here to keep this whole pin from falling out. I don't know what that is and I don't know what it looks like, but I feel like we should put something there. I don't know what though, but uh, we'll figure that out. But as of right now, so from what I'm gathering, this is a $1,300 tono cover. Oh. Boom, just like that. Oh, that's wonderful. Cool. So now we should be able to park this at work when we're uh, working at work. I guess they're not going anywhere. It just kind of makes me a little nervous. <laughs> the snow can pile up. It's something I can brush off. Like right now that snow in there, it's kind of just there till it melts. I can brush it off. Oh, and I should more or less be able to park this in the garage without having it melt all over the floor. Pretty exciting, not bad for a couple hundred bucks. 
for the price, I'm actually pretty happy with this. So the guy has keys he forgot to give me yesterday. He's gonna drop them off tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow's Monday. Monday is actually my YouTube day. So Mondays are my days when I'm in the garage working and uh, filming. Uh, Saturdays sometimes if I need videos. Uh, today's Sunday, but I picked this up yesterday, Saturday. Today's Sunday, and uh, tomorrow we're gonna be making some more videos on the Jeep probably. I'm not really sure what tomorrow's project is actually, but we'll find out when we get out here at like six in the morning. We're gonna have the heater going because it's gonna be cold this week. So anyway, nice. Way better than the plastic one that the previous owner had on this truck because that one was, or not plastic, but it was like a hard fabric and it was just, it was falling apart, especially then. Then it got caught by the wind and it, it fell apart, fell apart. So cool. Guys, remember, none of this would be possible without you guys watching and donating, so keep on doing that. I appreciate it. I'll keep posting if you keep watching. Uh, you may have noticed we're down to Friday posts uh, only now. Uh, that's just because I don't have time. Um, this is not my job. This is my hobby. So if I ain't got time, if I ain't got money, then I ain't posting videos. So that's where we're at. So thanks for watching. Continue to do so. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Adios.